Hello guys, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to sort and filter various columns you might have in Microsoft Excel. So this is definitely a cool little feature to know about, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to utilize it. So there's many different ways you might want to sort your data. So you see I have employees, hire dates, and weekly pay. You might want to sort the employees pay highest to lowest. You might want to search the hire date earliest to most recent. Or you might want to search the employee's name from A to Z in alphabetical order. This tutorial will show you guys how to do all of that pretty quickly. So we're going to start just make sure you're on the home tab up at the top. Should be the default page here you're landed with. And you want to go over to the editing tool features and left click on the sort and filter button. And now you want to select, since we're already on the first column here, we're going to select sort A to Z. And you can see it has sorted our employees A to Z here. If you want underneath higher date, you could do, again, A to Z or Z to A. It doesn't really matter. But personally, if you're using dates here, you're probably going to want to do custom set A to Z. Now, if you want to actually sort a little bit more advanced here, like if you want to have a drop down for each individual column, just go underneath Sort and Filter, and then select Filter. And now you can actually have a little drop down for each column here. So for higher date, click the little drop down. You can select Sort Oldest to Newest, and it'll look for all the dates in here. And like Weekly Pay, you can go highest to lowest, so sort largest to smallest. And Excel is pretty smart. It knows what it's looking at generally for whatever column you're working in. So it just gives you guys a lot of different functionality tools here. Pretty neat. And once you're done with it, you're pretty much good to go. So I do have this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.